Hello everyone, I am Sohra from Agnostaf and today I want to show you uh, how you can draw Taylor diagram for uh, minus value of Pearson correlation. Firstly, I should enter the name of variable and its color. The name of variable uh, is GCC here and GC and I will add it. I should uh, enter the list of models. I select the simple name for models. This is just for sample. You can select any model names and the shape, marker shape and the size. Uh, please note that if you have the ratio value and a correlation value, you should enter it here. Otherwise, you regret it as a, a zero value. The mod second model is M2. The shape is multiply and others. Please note that you should uh, enter the name of value without any symbols and uh, maybe without a space all the character is has a limitation maybe 220 this is fifth model and oh no i should select the triangle maybe and also the sixth model i will select the star and eight for marker size uh, if you enter the ratio value and uh, correlation value you should save the model but if you want to use raw data um, you should uh, check this value to then the tool will calculate the, this ratio value and correlation value from uh, your raw data uh, the observation data here is crude data i should select it and i select all of the models these models check okay load all the model is here and i should save it I will face to this item. Uh, it means you have minus value for correlation and uh, you should, uh, you can multiply it to minus value, but I don't know why some researcher requested. But the uh, correct one is draw it in semicircle. You should uh, click on no. I will uh, do the true way. Click on no. If you have another variable, you can enter it and continue all of these steps. Otherwise, you can draw it easily by click and draw. You will have a semicircle uh, Taylor diagram. You can export it, uh, but uh, the distance between the axis is so near. I should change this value to one a step of axis and I redraw, redraw the Taylor diagram. It is better than first one. Another item that I describe, oh, this, this model is, has minus value of Pearson correlation as, and it is in left hand of the chart. Uh, I want to show you another items, draw classical one, one classical Taylor diagram and in classical Taylor diagram you should use the raw data I should select a step of axis please consider that the data is between 0 and 140 and so you should select the steps I, I will uh, show you another item, use maximum of access. I should select the AT and the chart will continue up to AT. Another item, maybe 60 is better. I will select 60. Okay, is good. 
it's so nice you have all of them uh, if you have one variable you can use this icon just for one variable i have one variable i will change the color of each model here with red green black maybe rosy brown and medium purple i will save it and redraw it okay all the model the color of model is changed you can export uh, this chart by click on this value and you can close it another item is you can change the font of access and another things is this value mm, change the color of the i will show you this this line is green and i can change it to another green maybe dark green and the type of line use dash with these three styles this is i can change it to maybe this value and check it maybe i should change distance to one is better okay this is finalized okay we can export it to any uh, image and it is complete thank you for watching this video please like the video and subscribe the channel to get more video about the taylor diagram and other tools bye